who's just arrived. How perfect. Lennox Lewis is alongside us now. Lennox, first of all, what a fabulous thing for us to have you here in the studio with us. Thank you. How are you enjoying all of this? Man, it's amazing just the, the walk in and seeing the building, the amount of people, the different areas that they, they're boxing in. And even to see this arena, it's just amazing. I know. Can you believe where boxing has got to now? When we look back at you what, 24 years ago, when you had the undisputed title, and we've waited all of that time to get another undisputed fight. In your day, you guys, and I hope no one's listening backstage, you were much more active, weren't you? Yeah, I, I was active, I was active. I mean, the fighters nowadays, they take a, a year off. <laughs> I guess they're lovely... making so much money that they can enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely career if you can get it, isn't it? Listen, one question that I really want to ask you, yes. If you were all in the same era, how would you fight and how would you beat Tyson Fury? That's a good question. I mean, he's tall, he's lanky, he's elusive, he moves well. Um, I think I would just go straight after him. You know, I could hear Manny in my head. He would, go, he would be saying, get street with him, get street with him. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have beaten him, would you? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and when we look ahead to past this fight for a second and the, and the opportunity for us to watch Alexander Usyk and, and Tyson Fury and their different skill sets and, and their different sizes. How does that fight go, do you think? It's going to be an amazing fight because they're both winners and Usyk is definitely a winner. He's an undisputed champion and uh, he's always going to find a way to win. You know, what can he do? What, what, what's his advantage? His advantage is his speed, his movement, his quick. You know, he's going to use all those tools. Lennox, would you have liked to have been around when this Saudi thing was going on? Obviously, they were, were, they're trying to pump the sport out here. Imagine Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson in Saudi Arabia back in the day. Would you have yeah. liked that sort of money? Of course, of course. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? You're right. <laughs> Sounds like Carl wants to be in Yeah, I, I, I mean... <laughs> He's I was, mentioned it a few times. I was a few years too shy. I mean, like 2016, 17, that's when I was in my pump. Just missed out. A few pounds too shy for this card as yeah, well. Yeah, I suppose, I, I suppose. We're not allowed, we've got to stop. We've got to stop attacking him for his height. We're not allowed to do that, all right? <laughs> I said pounds, that was about weight. That was nothing oh, to do with Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I have a question for you, if you don't yes, mind. Yes, yes. If, if you were Tyson Fury and you're facing Ngannou tonight, what would be on your mind to watch out for in the early rounds? Oh, his power. You know, I wouldn't give him that. I wouldn't be close to him so he could uh, generate his power because, you know, he's a striker. So strikers wait for that opportunity to throw that whatever combination they're willing to throw, and they throw it. So I would, I would stay far from him, especially for a couple rounds. Read him a little bit. Yeah, and make him get a little tired, then take him out. We have been looking at exactly who's been arriving over the last couple of days, and there are so many people that you know as well, Vander Holyfield, some of your old foes, Mike Tyson's here as well. Listen, have you spoken to them? What's yes, going I on? have. This is the first time ever done. So many past champions, present champions and future champions are around. So it's, a, it's an amazing event and first time ever done. Has it been quite special as well to sit down and, and have you had a chance to reflect, not just on, on tonight, but your own careers and your history that you had with these guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, um, of course. Um, Brown's, Brownville was in the house. You know, you had uh, three of them and they were there and I looked over and I said, yeah, I boxed all three of those guys. <laughs> Evan, yeah, yeah. Evan, the whole Holyfield's here. Everybody's here, man. Have you seen anyone that has blown you away? Uh, everybody. Everybody's blown me away because, you know, they're, they're champions in their own right. And uh, there's a lot of undisputed champions, a lot of three-time champions, four-time champions, you know, Sugar Ray. Mm. Hey, Lennox is being nice. Lennox Lewis doesn't get started. <laughs> I was having a little look and we were seeing Cristiano Ronaldo earlier on and everyone was asking him for a selfie. But you're far too cool for that, aren't you? I bet he'd ask you for one. Well, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to take a picture with him. <laughs> <laughs> so you can line that up. Caroline Pierce is backstage again. She's now speaking with Mike Tyson. And with the great Mike Tyson, who of course is in the corner of Francis Ngannou. Yes, I am. What's impressed you the most about Francis? Francis is just a very dedicated man, a very kind man. and. Um, He's very determined and has the will to win. And that's why um, I was so grateful that they allowed me to be involved with them. And what's going to be your final advice to him before he makes that ring walk? Well, we already talked. He's going to be relaxed and very violent. Okay, how do you think he gets it done? Uh, overhand right. There you go. In the new heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world. <laughs> Thank you, Mike.
They go short and sweet there from Mike Tyson, who has also been in Francis Ngannou's corner, giving him some advice. Is he a good coach? Have you heard anything from that camp? Well, you know, I think he's uh, teaching Ngannou some of his style. So uh, if, whether he can uh, make good use of it is the question we're going to have to see tonight. And Mike, as a, as a person in his own right, as a sports person, as a legend of the world of boxing, where does he rank for you among the all-time greats? Oh, he's definitely one of the greats. Uh, you know, when he first was coming out, he was a powerhouse, you know, beating everybody up, knocking everybody out and uh, making his mark in boxing. It's been a bit different, really, this fight week, because you've seen Tyson Fury uh, with his dad, for example, on one side of the press conference when they're all up there talking. And the other side, you see Mike Tyson with Francis Ngannou. And the crossover, not just with the fighters themselves, but the coaches, the fathers, at times it's been, I mean, I watched it and I couldn't figure out what was going on. That in itself was entertaining before the fights even started, Dad. It, it was quite chaotic up there. There were so many big personalities, so many big egos up there. Everybody wanted to say, everybody wanted their little bit on camera. But, mm. you know, th that's what this is about. I mean, everything is oversized. Everything is high volume. You know, it, it, the, the press conference delivered exactly how I was expecting it to. Yeah. And actually, there's some real nice crossovers with Mike Tyson himself, because obviously you've got Tyson Fury that was named after him. Yes. And then Francis Ngannou, who wasn't even born at the beginning, when Tyson Fury, when Mike Tyson, too many Tysons, when Mike Tyson was, was at his pomp, was at his highest. Yeah. And then Moses Atamra, of course, who's an 18-year-old young yeah. heavyweight who wants to go on and break the record. What do you think before we let you go of the likes of Moses Atamra and, and the heavyweights that are coming through? You know, there's a long, uh, there's a lot of young talent coming by. I just hope they could get good coaching. Mm. That's my main thing. But I'm looking forward to the future, and uh, you know, they're making their mark uh, in boxing, and I uh, wish them good luck. Listen, thank you so much. We loved speaking to you, Lennox. We hope you enjoy this amazing event, and I hope they look after you. I'm sure they will treat you like absolute royalty as well. Enjoy thank it. You.